What's up guys, MGH here and welcome finally back to another Valencia career mode episode. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling so much better. I've actually got energy and it's half six in the evening. I'm going to be uploading this in the next few hours. Normally right now, over the last few days, I would be absolutely exhausted. That cold absolutely ruined me. Um, but I'm starting to feel really a lot better now, guys. So thank you for the patience. I know it's been a while since I uploaded one of these, a good few days now. I did a Rage to Glory yesterday because they're much more relaxing to record in terms of I take lots, lots of breaks during the recording when I'm searching for players and stuff like that. With career mode, I'm talking constantly. So I was able to rest my voice a little bit, but record a video. Today, we're going to be going back into the Valencia career mode because I'm feeling that much better. So to kick off the episode, we have Atletico Bilbao away from home, and they are in the top six. You can see, no, they're not. They're, down, they're now seventh. They've dropped out of the top six, but still a very important game. And then, of course, we have the Champions League fixture against Benfica, which is going to be absolutely huge. I'm actually going to rest Otamendi for this game. I'm going to bring in Vezo just for a little bit of a, a different feel at the back three. Moreno and Mustafi will keep their place. Katabia comes in at right mid. Also, we've got Ayu and Gomez playing. Piatti coming back into the side as well. I'm going to be resting Paco for the big game coming up in the Champions League. So this is the team I'm going to be using. It's still on Legendary, just in case anyone's forgotten that I am playing this series on Legendary. Let's get the three points. First bit of action in a good few days. I'm really excited to get this series back up and running again after those few days break. Um, a lot of people seem to think that I'm not as interested in this series anymore. Um, I guess what it is, is it has gone on a little bit longer than I'd expected. And maybe I haven't been as consistent uploading these as I did with the Arsenal career mode at times. But that's okay. We're now into the really big part of the series. We're obviously going to be playing the Champions League in this episode and we're going to be trying to make it through into the quarters, the semis and maybe even the final, who knows. Not a very good start this, holy shit my defending. What is going on right now? I can't get the ball, is De Marcos? But I cannot get the ball off them, look at this shit. Just make a mistake, there you go, we've got it now. Come on Piatti, show me why you're such a beast. We're past one there, let's give it back to Martinez here. Out on the wing to Katabia. Oh look at Piatti making his run. Oh go on! No, that's a foul ref. Jesus, he cut me down. Let's get a cross in, maybe. No, I don't want to cross it. It's freaking Piatti. He's not tall enough. What a ball that is. Please keep it in. Yes, well done, son. Inside here. Oh, look at the space for Gomez. I'm going to hit that. Oh, it's a good save. We're playing really well now. At the start, I was getting dominated, but I'm finding my feet. I'm a bit rusty, as to be expected, but we're doing okay. There is the end of the first half. I can tell you this right now, they've dominated possession, but I've had the better chances, so pretty even so far. Hopefully in the second half, I'll be able to put one of these chances away. No one's making the run for me. Go on, Piatti, over the top. That's more like it. Please score this. Yes, get in there. Finally, we've got the goal, guys. It's taken me 62 minutes to break through. That is a finish and a half. Look at that. Get the ball in. That's a good ball. Look at that. Gomez. Oh, wow. Piatti. Oh, it's come off the post and it's another corner. The end of this game is pretty frantic. Let's get the ball in with Perez. Let's try and get it a bit further back this time. That's not bad. Not quite right, though. Don't let them get the ball in. No. No, 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 no. Get it out. Please don't do this to me. David Silva, get it out. Laporte's got it back into the box. They're going ultra attack right now. Or all out attack, probably. Oh, no. Oh, Diego Alves, you absolute beast. That was incredible. And there you go. Yes. That was not a deserved win, but I don't care. It's three points against a very, very decent side. So just before the Champions League game against Benfica, we've got Malaga at home. So again, I'm going to be resting a couple of my key players. And we're going back to a 4-1-2-1-2 as well. And it's Arujo and Paco up front with Gomez at Cam. So... It's a very different setup, but should be more than good enough to get the three points. So here we go. Let's try and beat Malaga. Come on, lads. Let's have a lightning start. Let's get a goal nice and early here. We can do it. Over the top now. We've still got a chance. Get that. Oh, hang on. They might make a mistake. No. I haven't scored an early goal in ages. I need to do that. To Gomez here. Yes, this is nice. Through ball. And through. I'm actually through. Finish this one, please. Yes, get in there. 1-0. And it is an early goal, 15 minutes in. Simple as that. 
I don't know what it is about Malaga or if it's this formation. I'm finding so much space. Look at this. I'm just cutting through them like butter. It's so easy. And then I ruin it <laughs> with a pass like that. So Cellini over the top. Arujo's there, surely. What a touch. Chip the keeper. Oh, why didn't I just go for a simple shot? Honestly, right, let's get the ball in just before half time here. Oh, it's a goal, surely. No way. Oh. Oh my god. How has that not gone in? How <laughs> have I not scored? That is ridiculous. Right, again, another corner from Perez. He's really good at the corners. That's a good one. Look at that again. Go on. Another chance, maybe. I think that's going to be it. Please keep it in. Play it back in there. Press it back in. Oh, my God. The defending from Malaga there was absolutely incredible. And that's the end of the first half. 1-0. I'm making two changes. We're bringing on Silva and Romeo. Gomez and Parejo coming off. They're both pretty tired and uh, will definitely be used against Benfica. But... Obviously, David Silva, my best player. Got to be using him if I need goals. And I've just got a feeling I'm going to need a second goal. Here is David Silva. Can I find the pass? That's a bad tackle again. He's only gone and done it. You've got to be kidding me. He's my best free kick taker on the pitch, but I didn't think I'd get anywhere near the goal with this. It's the wrong side, but look at this. That's some terrible goalkeeping. What is that? I didn't even hit it that hard. Oh, that's appalling from the keeper. He's got to save that. But David Silva comes on and scores the free kick. There's five minutes added on, guys. I'm trying to get this third goal, but I cannot get through. Maybe this time with Paco. Back inside again. Oh, God, I just didn't make a decision quick enough. Let's try and get that back in. Yes, there we go. Back to Paco here. Is that it? Wow, that was a really fast injury time. But there you go, guys. 2-0 win. Malaga, yeah, they weren't very good. I can see why they're kind of like a mid-table team. So here we are. Finally, after so many months of no Champions League football, it's back. And it is against Benfica. I've already, I've already mentioned how, you know, Valencia and Benfica seem like two very close clubs with all the player swapping and, you know, loaning they do between each other. So it's going to be an interesting match. Here is the Benfica team. There are some really good players in there. And uh, one of the most famous players in their team, Julio Cesar in goal. They've got Salvio on the right, Gaetan on the left. They've got Jonas up front, an old Valencia player, I believe. Benfica have started strongly. They're keeping the ball well. And Jesus, that's some quick passing. I haven't really had many chances yet, but here we go. Maybe we're going to get one here with Martinez. Piatti, come on. Make the run. Oh, for God's sake. Try over the top, maybe. He just stopped. Martinez just stopped. Why do they do that in this game? Oh, my God. How has that gone in? Oh, this is terrible, guys. I don't understand how this has actually gone in. Oh, wow. Oh, in off the post. So, so lucky from Benfica. It just fell to him perfectly for a, a straight half volley like that. Oh man, we need to get some goals. Feguli going on the run here. Look at him, he's going through them. He's still going. Oh, what a solo goal. Feguli. Oh, thank you so much, dude. He hasn't been doing much this season. Then he goes and does that. That's why I signed him back up. I gave him the contract he wanted. Just ran through them. It's not the best finish, actually. The keeper maybe should have got that. That's his first goal, and I'm sure more, for, more, ugh, more will come from him in the next few games if I can stay in the competition. There's the end of the first half. That was pretty manic. I've literally only had two shots, one of those being obviously the goal. What a run by Feguli. Oh, here we go. Yes, come on. For the second away goal. Martinez. Oh, what a save from Cesar. Pull it back. Yes, son. Pass it in. Martinez. No way. He's blocked it. Oh my god, no! No, he hasn't done that. I've just brought him on. Zuccellini, this is why I've loaned him back. Holy crap, I cannot believe that's gone in. I just tried it for the lols, just for a bit of fun. And he scored it. Oh, that is ridiculous. There's no way. A 77 rated central, not central defensive midfielder, but a central midfielder has just done that. 
in the Champions League against a very good side. Cesar, yeah. Try stop that one, mate. What a goal. This is probably going to be the last attack of the game. Please don't concede now, Matt. Two away goals. What a result that would be. No! You've got to be kidding me. After all my hard work, they've got a goal in literally the last few seconds of the game. It's really well worked. Oh, Diego Alves, so close to saving that. It's just come off his shoulder, I think. Oh, it's so unlucky, guys. And it's the old Valencia player himself. How frustrating is that? I was just thinking, what a result this is going to be. Two away goals is still really good, but unfortunately we conceded two as well. So in the next leg, when we're at home, all we need is a draw. A nil-nil and we do go through, but I've seen their weaknesses. I can kill them off. I really can. We've, we've, got, a, we've got a team that can do them one, put it that way. So there we have it, guys. Three games down and we are getting ever closer to the March April, May kind of time where all the big games and the big fixtures are happening. If we can beat Benfica in the next episode or draw nil-nil or whatever, one all, I will still go through. And oh my God, I'm so excited to see who I would get. I bet you a million pounds, a million coins that I will bloody get fucking Bayern Munich or Real Madrid or Barcelona. I'll just get someone really, really difficult, but You'll soon find out. Thank you so much for watching. Finally, I've been able to record for more than, you know, 45 minutes solid without my throat absolutely killing me. I'm feeling much, much better. So thank you for all the well wishes, guys. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode. And then Rage to Glory will be up on Wednesday, I think. See you later, guys.